Unrest by Jim Brea is a first-rate film by almost any standard, but I especially recommend that MECFS patients watch it with their family members. This 90-minute award-winning documentary follows Brea and her husband Omar Wasso, along with other people severely affected by myalgic encephalomyelitis, or chronic fatigue syndrome. The film covers the familiar topics, what the disease is, why no one knows what the disease is, why it's stigmatized, and so on. But for general viewers, what sets it apart from the also fine and helpful documentary Forgotten Plague is its highly affecting emotional arc. I cried out of sadness for the featured characters. And sometimes I cried out of happiness, although each quietly beautiful moment is tinged with affliction. But not being a general viewer, I valued the film even more for other reasons. I suffer from MECFS too, although not as severely as Brea or most of the other main figures in Unrest. Because there are considerable differences in people's constellations of symptoms, I found it interesting and scary and sad to see people develop symptoms that I don't get. For example, language problems. I know that might sound uncaring, but I read about these things over and over and wondered what they really look like. On the other hand, sometimes it was the similarities that got me. Seeing Brea crawling across the floor and up the stairs, collapsing into bed as I've done too, I felt like that was me and her. The same was true when her exuberant attempts to enjoy normal life turned into physical crashes. Maybe I was moved by the visible proof that someone else must understand what I've gone through. And maybe I cried for myself a little too. By the way, and just as an aside, something like 95% of us have irritable bowel syndrome. And for whatever reason, we never see that depicted in any of these films. Okay, back to the actual film. It was also cool to see Brea and her husband try a variety of methods to reduce her illness. Some of them I've now crossed off my list. Thanks for trying them, Jen. But by far the most valuable aspect of watching this film was how it prompted my wife and me to talk. Not every spouse in the film is as constant as Brea's husband. And not every patient outside of the film is as open about his or her thoughts as Jen is. Her anguish about her reduced life and its effect on Omar could have come straight from my internal monologue. Walking out of the theater, my wife and I had an important conversation that we wouldn't otherwise have had. I would love to watch Unrest again with my other family members. So how can you see this important film? I found a screening nearby by checking its website every so often. The address, appropriately enough, is Unrest dot film. Otherwise, you might have to wait until it shows on PBS months from now. In either case, I hope you get to see it.